Number one at 11. Coverage you can count on for all of Western Washington. This is King 5 News at 11. He's like a hero. This little girl is pulled from smoke and flames tonight by her uncle, only a few years older than she. Child rescuing child. It's tonight's top story. In a fire, minutes make the difference between life and death. Tonight, the dramatic story of a boy who wasted no time coming to the rescue. King 5's Jim Foreman is live on the scene in Seattle tonight. Jim? Dennis and Lori, firefighters say it is important to have a plan to know exactly what to do when a fire breaks out in your home. Well, tonight, when fire broke out here, a young teen knew exactly what to do. I'm going to window, and then I smell smoke. Little Sierra Neff might just owe the rest of her life to her 13-year-old uncle. When the family's South Seattle home caught fire late today, Nicholas Neff jumped into action. And uh, we went upstairs and it was all smoky. Trapped in her crib in all that smoke was little Sierra. Nicholas knew just what he had to do. And, uh, I went in there and I woke her up because she was asleep and I brought her downstairs. Firefighters agree Nicholas is a hero. So Nick went up, made it all the way to the top of the stairs in the smoke and the heat, went to the door, awoke his niece, took her out. Firefighters were here on the scene at 11424 Woodley Avenue South in minutes and were able to keep the damage to a minimum. Investigators say one of the family's kids playing with the lighter started the fire. The VCR may be toast, and the only ones hurt were these dolls. But thanks to smoke detectors and a fast-thinking 13-year-old, everyone is alive and well tonight. He woke me up, and then he was a hero. Family with a lot to be thankful for tonight. Now, firefighters say the first indication that something was going wrong here was a smoke detector. And they point out this is the perfect time to make sure you make the plans to check your smoke detectors over this weekend. Because, as they say, when you change your clocks, change your batteries. We do that this weekend. And as we've learned here tonight, smoke detectors really do make the difference in giving you that extra time to get out alive. I'm Jim Foreman reporting live in Seattle. And more details on our top story tonight. The boy who started the fire will likely go through a juvenile fire starter program involving counseling. The Red Cross has been helping the family find a place to stay tonight. A teenage fugitive on a two-day crime spree is on the loose tonight. Police say the young suspect is responsible for three fires, including one that burned a Fall City home to the ground. The suspected arsonist terror spread to Cougar Ridge Elementary when the school was secured during a massive hunt for the suspect. King 5's Eric Wilkinson joins us live from Issaquah, where the search is still on tonight. Eric. Well, police are focusing their search here in Issaquah, where the suspect was last seen. Their greatest concern is that this suspect continue his violent crime spree, perhaps steal another car, torch another home, and this time end up killing someone. 16 to play. On the streets of Issaquah tonight, police hunt for a young man they fear is a teenage time bomb, just waiting to go off again. Very dangerous. Uh, you know, it's a serious threat to life, and uh, from what I understand from the reports earlier in the day, uh, the people and the residents are very fortunate to be alive. It all began just before daybreak. This fall city home set on fire and destroyed as a family of four slept inside. Next door, a neighbor's shed found burning as well. Not far down the road, police discover the remains of a burnt out truck. Investigators now believe someone stole that truck from North Bend, set it ablaze, and then stole another car from this home before setting the place on fire. By this afternoon, police spotted the suspect in yet another stolen car, this time in Issaquah. Police put Cougar Ridge Elementary School under lockdown. If you're looking for your child now, go outside the room. As parents rush to bring their kids to safety. We don't know what we're looking for. And all we see is all the police, uh, the helicopters, uh, Pretty, uh, pretty scary, frankly. <laughs> the trail finally ended here. The suspect smashing a stolen truck into this home and escaping on foot. He eluded an intensive two-hour police search. And tonight, those left standing in the ashes of one man's inexplicable crime spree wonder what's next. I'm not so sure that, uh, you know, that we need to feel too safe yet because this individual is still out there roaming around and, uh, you know, who knows, he, he could be back. 
Here's the latest description that we have of the suspect. He is a white teenager between 16 and 18 years old. He has a brown mohawk and was last seen wearing baggy black overalls. The one bright spot in all of this is that no one has been hurt in any of these incidents so far. That is the latest from Issaquah. Reporting live, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. Officers say the man who tried to assault two girls inside a bathroom at a Puyallup school last week may have struck again. Two kids were on their way to Tacoma's Stanley Elementary School yesterday when a man pushed the little girl down. As her brother was helping her up, he noticed the man had a gun, but that didn't stop them from running away. The suspect is described as a white man in his late 20s with brown hair, about 5 feet 8 inches tall, wearing a black shirt and shoes. A man who's attacked women in Kent and Parkland may now have moved on to Renton. Police say a woman was attacked but not raped in Renton's Coulon Park along Lake Washington last week. The method of attack is similar to this suspect's attacks in Kent and Parkland. The Renton suspect is described as a white man, 30 to 40 years old, 6 feet tall, medium build, with wavy blonde hair. Careful, next time you need to mail a check, the Postal Service has confirmed that thieves have stolen the master key to Seattle's street corner mailboxes, making them unsafe. The check that we sent in the mail, it got stolen and chemically washed and written for a different amount in cash. You're also warned not to put checks in your home or apartment mailboxes because of thefts there. Checks and money orders should be dropped off inside the post office. The mailboxes outside the post office are not even considered safe. And we're told it will take at least a year to change all the locks on Seattle's public mailboxes. The IRS has won another round in its long fight to get restaurants to pay taxes on tips. A federal appeals court has ruled restaurants must pay tip taxes based on total sales because many restaurant employees do not report all their tips. Restaurant owners say staff members should be accountable for tips and the owners will keep fighting for the right to stay out of the mix. An Everett husband needs your help finding his missing wife. Shelly Meeker's parents were caring for her on Tuesday. They last saw her about 10 o'clock Tuesday night. Soon after, she disappeared. Meeker's family says she's physically and emotionally distressed and may be suicidal. Meeker is a white woman, 31 years old, 5 foot 4 inches tall, weighing 104 pounds, with long, straight red hair and green eyes. She might be wearing a copper-colored sweater, full-length black skirt, and black high-heeled platform shoes. Anyone with information is asked to call the Everett Police. More cases of E. coli connected to lunch served at a Tri-Cities area school have been confirmed. Last week, health officials thought the outbreak at Finley Elementary had peaked at eight cases. There are now 11. A five-year-old who had been mildly ill for the past few days is the latest case and is in the hospital tonight for observation. Taco meat is suspected as the source of the E. coli. Tonight, the father of one of the E. coli victims from the Puyallup Fair says something has to be done to stop the spread of the bacteria. Vince De Palma says he's relieved to have his daughter back home after a month in the hospital. Go see your mom. Show her big arms. Little Rebecca De Palma is back from the brink of death. The 21-month-old became critically ill after becoming infected with the E. coli bacteria at the Puyallup Fair. After so much uncertainty, her parents say it's great to finally have her home. It'll be the first night I've slept in my bed in probably a full night's sleep, if I can get it, in, in a month. <laughs> so. You been a good girl? I'm a good girl. De Palma was released Thursday from the hospital after battling the worst of the sometimes deadly disease. There were some bumps along the way. And she was in such agony, and I, I couldn't get her in, into a position where it wouldn't hurt. And uh, you go through that hour after hour, day after day, and you start something starts to wear down inside you. And I said to myself, it's got to be something. And this should not ever happen to any other child. De Palma was hit the worst by the outbreak. This video is from the intensive care unit at Tacoma's Mary Bridge Children's Hospital, where De Palma was fighting for her young life. And uh, to feed her, they had a tube in her nose, had a tube in her ribs for drainage, had a tube in her gut for dialysis. I mean, uh, and she had, all at the same time, she had pneumonia, swollen liver, pancreatitis, in addition to the intestinal. Rebecca De Palma is back from the brink with a future that looks brighter each day. Butterfly. Experts still have not pinned down the exact cause of the fair outbreak. Mr. De Palma says once his daughter's condition has settled down, he will join the fight for safer food products. 
He confessed to killing a Bellevue family. Coming up, the family of his alleged victims hear the disturbing details of their loved one's last moments. Just let my wife rest in peace. Saying his wife is finally cleared, the husband of the late Florence Griffith Joyner reacts to today's announcement about the cause of her death. Oops, classified equipment falls out of the sky tonight. What is it? And it's no ordinary trick what researchers have learned about humans from monkeys trained to count. King 5 News closed captioning is sponsored in part by Sleep Train Mattress Centers. They mend our hearts. Attend to our injuries. Our illnesses, our cancers. They deliver our babies. They're our dad. Our mom. Our brothers. They're us. Where do you find doctors and nurses like these? At Evergreen, Stevens, and Valley, our community-owned hospital. I'm afraid it's it would take a miracle. Saturday only at the Bon Marche. Daniel! You're awake! The one day sale. Saturday only at the Bon Marche. I run because I must. I run because... Wait! 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 The meeting started ten minutes ago. <sighs> Dexter Shoes. Built for the way you really live. You can lease the all-new Alero by Oldsmobile for just $2.29 a month. Alero by Oldsmobile. Start something. Beloved is a monumental journey that has scorching emotional impact. The New York Times says it's a gripping, wildly imaginative film that's not quite like any other. And Siskel and Ebert give two thumbs up to one of the best films of the decade. Oprah Winfrey, Danny Glover, Sandy Newton, in a Jonathan Demme picture, Beloved, rated R. Now playing at a theater near you. Number one at 11, you are watching King 5 News with Laurie Matakawa, Dennis Bounds, Jeff Renner's first delayed weather, and Paul Sylvie's sports. Coverage you can count on, King 5 News at 11. Breaking news tonight, police searching for a man in connection with the murder of a woman in Spanaway. The 38-year-old victim was found dead from a gunshot wound near State Route 7. Police are searching for her boyfriend, Eric Markowski. They believe he's armed and dangerous. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Pierce County Sheriff's Department. Family members of a murdered Bellevue uh, family hear graphic and horrifying details of their loved ones. Hear graphic and horrifying details of their loved ones' deaths. Alex Barani told police all of the gruesome details of the murders, and today the taped confession was played for the jury in his trial. Barani explained how he strangled the oldest daughter, Kim Wilson. He says he bludgeoned Rose Wilson, stabbed William Wilson, and then attacked the youngest daughter. Barani's lawyers say he was mentally impaired at the time of the murders. Two Air Force fighter jets collide in midair near Phoenix, Arizona. Pilots were on a routine training mission from Luke Air Force Base. One plane landed safely. The pilot of the other was hurt, but not seriously. The real scare came later when nearby residents realized they'd almost been hit by pieces of the plane, including the snow cone and classified radar equipment. We were lucky it didn't hit. It would have done some damage. Pieces of the plane are scattered over a wide area. The Air Force is investigating. 
It was designed to discourage counterfeiters, but some merchants complain there's actually been an increase in counterfeitings since the newly designed $20 bill went into circulation. They say the 20s, 50s, and $100 bills look too much alike right now. The legacy of the greatest woman sprinter in the world will survive untarnished. Autopsy results show Florence Griffith Joyner suffered an epileptic seizure as she slept, then suffocated. Her unexpected death last month renewed rumors she may have used performance-enhancing drugs. Final, final ultimate drug test. And it's what we always said, it's nothing there. Well, nobody likes to pay speeding tickets. The reason I'm stopping you, South Street's posted 25 mile an hour zone, locked in at 40 miles an hour. But up next, how one community is turning speeders into Santas. And aren't squirrels supposed to be brown or gray? The legend behind this unusual sight still to come in our picture of the night. Coming up later on The Tonight Show, George Clooney reveals how tough it is doing those sexy love scenes. How long are you in bed doing a scene like that? A couple of days, if you screw up your lines enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Plus, actress Ming-Na Wen, a strike for stupidity and products that'll spice up your life. It's the new Bob Dole Viagra <laughs> dispenser. You see how that works there? <laughs> then Conan's got Salma Hayek tonight. latest in a long history of exceptional cars from Audi. The Audi A6. A healthy life is full of changes. At Blue Cross of Washington and Alaska, we're changing to Premira Blue Cross with products and programs that help you get and stay healthy and the consistently top-rated service you've always expected from Blue Cross. Ask your employer or broker about Premira Blue Cross. Together, we'll make health happen. I bought a Chevrolet Suburban because it's the largest vehicle in its class. I looked at other vehicles, but there's nothing that could tow with a Suburban, which oh, I'd never go back to a smaller car. I got my money's worth. It's just, it's just like driving any other luxury car, except it's a truck with much, much more room. Get the size and security of a Chevy Suburban now. We're talking selection and value at your Chevrolet dealers Northwest. It's an absolutely outstanding rig, and it takes me to place I need to go. We're talking Chevrolet. This is King 5 First Alert Weather. Well, it felt like we broke a record, not in Seattle, but in both Tacoma and Olympia. Tacoma McCord Air Force Base made it up to 75 degrees. Olympia Airport made it up to 71. Both broke the preceding records, but not in Seattle, still a mild day. Currently over downtown Seattle, 55 degrees. That is reported by the Pacific Science Center. Tacoma Browns Point Elementary checking in at 51, while up to the north in Everett, your temperature happens to be 57. Over on the east side in Bellevue, 52 degrees, as reported by Bellevue High School. Nothing on radar, so let's take a look at just how exactly warm it got today. And temperatures generally were in the mid-60s to the low 70s, though in Tumwater, not too far from Olympia Airport, made it up to 74. 64 along the ocean beaches, cooler thanks to a push of some ocean air and some more dense fog. East of the Cascades, warming up, but still not as warm as in western Washington in the mid to upper 60s for the most part. Temperatures right now, we'll see that those are cooling off slowly, ranging from, well, 44 degrees in Kingston on up to 53 degrees in Puyallup and 54 degrees out in Potlatch. Let's take a look briefly elsewhere across the United States. We'll see some areas of thunder and rain showers clipping the southeast corner of New Mexico and extreme western Texas. The other part of the United States to see a little bit of rain, some shower activity over Florida, just some clouds drifting through New England. But here in the Pacific Northwest, we'll see that the high pressure that was protecting us isn't giving us quite as much protection as it has the last several days. Taking a look at this satellite picture, you can see the bands of clouds moving closer and also getting thicker. Now what that means is that this high pressure that did give us the protection and help produce the warm temperatures is finally beginning to slide to the east and that's going to allow the jet stream to droop, bring in this cold front with approaching rain probably tomorrow night and certainly by early Saturday and some colder air behind it. Here's a look then at my forecast. Overnight lows tonight dropping for the most part into the mid-30s to the low 40s, though in central Puget Sound, again, a little bit milder in the mid-40s for the most part, but within a couple miles of the water. 
Locally dense fog developing tonight and also tomorrow, but then becoming partly to mostly sunny, increasing clouds late in the day, and that together with a little cooler air is going to keep temperatures a couple degrees cooler, ranging from 60 degrees in Port Angeles on up to 68 in both Tacoma and Olympia. Now along the ocean beaches, much cooler, much more extensive fog and low clouds, highs in the upper 50s, but east of the Cascades holding in the mid 60s to the upper 60s, mostly sunny. Winds very light over the interior, one of the reasons we're looking at locally dense fog again, but uh, especially late in the afternoon and tomorrow evening, getting stronger near the west entrance to the strait and also along the coast. Up in the mountains, partly sunny afternoon past temperatures 54 to 62 degrees, but mostly cloudy over the Olympics, uh, especially in the mid to late afternoon hours. Five-day outlook, overnight Friday into Saturday, rain then changing to showers, quite a bit cooler, a high of 56. Sunday, I'm going to call it partly to mostly cloudy. There is a chance of a shower, particularly in the morning over the northwest corner of the state. Monday, partly to mostly sunny after low morning clouds. Even Tuesday may be decent much of the day, but a chance of rain late. Air quality, by the way, as you could probably see from the haze, is getting yeah. poorer and poorer as time goes on. So if you can carpool or do something helpful, do it by all means. Time for the rain to wash it away. Yes, and that will help. Between the skies. Thank Thanks, you, Jeff. Jeff. New research proves animal and human brains are far more similar and programmed with greater ability than anyone ever knew. Experts have said counting is a key part of higher intelligence humans achieve as they learn language. But that perception changed after this demonstration of two monkeys counting. It tells us that uh, numerical ability is clearly older than language, that it's an ancient skill. Researchers train the monkeys to touch increasing numbers of objects on a screen. This shows that number is a real meaningful dimension for the monkeys, that it's not artificial, that in their everyday lives that they probably use number. The research shows both monkeys and babies are born with the ability to understand numbers. Toys are helping remind people behind the wheel to stay safe. Here's a copy of your summons. I'm also going to give you a flyer that's on a Santa second chance. It's an option to pay and you're fine by... Traffic judges in Castle Rock, Colorado are allowing drivers to pay speeding tickets with holiday toys for needy children instead of cash. Considering we have to pay the money anyway and that we know where the money goes to, that it's going to children during the holidays that are in need, I think it's a great idea. About two-thirds of speeders in Castle Rock are paying their tickets with toys. John Freeze squares off against Ryan Leaf this Sunday. Hear from both quarterbacks next. Plus another battle of unbeatens in high school football. Did Evergreen stop Kennedy's standout Paul Arnold? Paul Sylvie has the answer next. Gene Siskel calls practical magic funny, clever, and smart. <laughs> the worst taste in men. Well, you do. Sandra Bullock, Nicole Kidman, practical magic. Rated PG-13. Now playing at a theater near you. The great shoe sale is going on now at the Bon Marche. All your favorite brands with more styles on sale than at any other time this season. The great shoe sale, on now at the Bon Marche. Washington's majestic beauty. It's our greatest resource. But in D.C., Linda Smith is putting it all at risk. Though more cancer-causing toxins are dumped into Washington's waterways than in any other state, Linda Smith voted to weaken clean water laws. She voted to gut environmental enforcement, a vote the post-intelligencer called shameful. Linda Smith even voted to limit our right to know about poisons dumped in our communities. Linda Smith, a risk Washington can't take. Rise and shine, time to look for political scandals. Red hot scandal here. Catherine the Great has been seen around the horse barn. File not found. Political sandals. Sandals? These were worn by the King of Prussia. What? What? Download compromising shots of coolies. King 5 News and Northwest Cable News. Your news leaders. Old soldiers never die, especially if they can do this. I'm going to kill them all. Kurt Russell. Soldier Rated R. Starts Friday, October 23rd. Let's look at what Adam Smith has already done. Smith voted for the Balanced Budget Act, for term limits, and gave his pay raise to our local schools. The big problem in Washington is there is too much partisan bickering amongst the politicians and not enough 
working to solve problems. The people of this country don't care who gets the credit of the blame. They want the problem solved. As one newspaper wrote, Smith votes his conscience. A former prosecutor, Smith has been praised as a leader and fighter. Adam Smith, independent and standing up for what's right. Time for sports now. Paul Sylvie. And John Freeze back in his bags, too. John Freeze, all smiles tonight <laughs> as well. The uh, Seahawks named John Freeze their starting quarterback for Sunday quarterback for Sunday's game in San Diego. Warren Moon can't go with the cracked ribs, so it's up to Freeze and company to generate some offense and snap a three-game losing streak. Uh, there's so much riding on this game. It's not like we're, uh, you know, the, the Broncos coming off their 6-0 and start off their bye week. It's different. You know, we're hungry. We understand the importance of this game, and uh, I, I would be very surprised if anybody took this game lightly or looked past it. Freeze goes up against Ryan Leaf. So far this season, Leaf hasn't played up to his potential. During the Chargers' recent four-game losing streak, Leaf committed 13 turnovers on his way to last in the NFL's quarterback ratings. He knows things won't get any easier against the Seahawks. Around, they, uh, they just uh, like to uh, bring a lot of guys and try to confuse quarterbacks and, and offensive linemen by bringing different guys dropping defensive tackles out in coverage and things like that. They're so quick, and Chad Brown pretty much can play every position on the football field. And, Inspector Clouseau keeping an eye on a couple of unbeatens tonight. Kennedy's Paul Arnold scored four touchdowns against Evergreen. He finished with 324 total yards. He also snared two interceptions. Evergreen quarterback David Nguyen ripped off a nice run against the Lancers. Keeps it himself right up the middle. And it looks like no one's going to catch him. Except Paul Arnold. He scores touchdowns and he stops them too. A big man as Kennedy wins big, 45 to 12. One other game, Redmond remains unbeaten after a big win over Inglemore. 240 NBA players met today in Las Vegas. They say the union is strong and they'll never accept a hard salary cap. Michael Jordan among the players in Vegas, he says, well, he isn't sure whether he'll come back for another season, but he is sure of one thing. It's not our fight. We didn't start this fight, you know, but we have to stand forward for what we believe in. And if you know, if we don't, then, you know, we're letting down the future NBA players of tomorrow and certainly we're letting down the, the guys who fought for what we have obtained thus far. So, I mean, we're standing a lot taller than just the people here. We're standing for past and present. Hockey tonight. They don't come much uglier than this guy. The Devils taking on the Flyers. Watch this goal by Brian Ralston. Breaks into the zone, falls and lifts the puck up and over. Goalie John Van Beesbrook. Great shot. Take another look. The puck standing on end as Ralston scores a shorthanded goal. The Devils beat the Flyers 3-2. NHL scores. Rangers beat the Islanders. Blues take Ottawa. Dallas over Phoenix. San Jose and Chicago tie 2-2. We'll wrap it up on a Thursday as we check out what else happened tonight. In Chicago, watch Sean Burr get yanked to the ice by Remy Royer. A minor case of whiplash for Burr as Remy gives him a full face wash by the glass. And it happened tonight in Tempe. Arizona State tied Stanford with two minutes to go. But on the ensuing kickoff, Troy Walters takes it right up the middle, breaks a couple of tackles, and he is gone. This would have been the game-winning touchdown, but they called it back because of a penalty. They go to overtime and Arizona State scores on their first play. Ryan Keeley to Tarek McDonald, 44-38 the final. Watch Keeley get hammered by his own teammates right here. Oh. <laughs> ASU avoiding another Husky nightmare here on King 5 Sports. Dodgers hire Davey Johnson as their new manager. So what Arizona, a what a great Stanford. game. <laughs> yeah, that was outstanding. I'm sure. Stanford grads right now. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. Thank you, Paul. Mm -hmm. Picture of the night coming up next. But first, tonight's winning daily lottery numbers. It's Lamont's amazing 14-hour sale, Saturday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Save 20 to 60% store-wide on fashions, accessories, and gifts for your family and home. Plus, get huge bonus specials of 40 to 70%. 14 hours of savings, Saturday only at Lamont. Cop killer bullets can pierce a bulletproof vest. And Linda Smith is so extreme, she thinks they should be legal. To protect our police, Patty Murray is helping local law enforcement buy more bulletproof vests. And Patty helped pass the crime bill that put over 1,300 new police on our streets. And Murray got special funding to crack down on Northwest drug gangs. Patty Murray, endorsed by police, sheriffs, and Washington State troopers. I can't answer this call because I'm running late. Or this one because I need to concentrate here. Yeah, please cut in. Nor this call because I love linguine. What did I miss? Nothing. You have three new messages. 
Only U.S. West Advanced PCS can share one voice mailbox with your home phone. You see, I control my call. They don't control me. It's my daughter. Her, I can't control. Yeah, you want to turn the music down? Turn the call music down. Call 1-800-ACCESS-2. U.S. West. Life's better here. In case you just tuned in, the Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for our entire broadcasting area. Already, in addition to the heavy rains, there have been reports of lightning strikes as well as extensive flooding throughout our region. Currently, the forecast calls for continued thunderstorms this afternoon and evening with another 8 to 10 inches of rain possible before this storm system moves out of our area. Now, remember, there's a traveler's advisory in effect until 11 o'clock tonight. So it looks like the only thing to do is to stay inside and stay tuned for more severe weather up it's Lamont's amazing 14-hour sale, Saturday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Save 20 to 60% store-wide on fashions, accessories, and gifts for your family and home. Plus, get huge bonus specials of 40 to 70%. 14 hours of savings, Saturday only at Lamont. We're here to tell you about a All across America, critics are raving about Anne. The little guy made it! Gene yeah! Shalit says, go see Anne. Look out! And step on it. I don't get all sappy about it. Ants is a family movie, a date movie, and a see it again movie. Don't be so dramatic. Entertainment Weekly gives Ants an A. It's four stars and two big thumbs up. You to Ants. Ants rated PG. Now playing everywhere. White squirrels brought by gypsies. That's a legend in the town of Kenton, Tennessee, where hundreds of the animals live. The rare albinos make our picture of the night. Kenton is one of only three to four places in the nation that has a colony of white squirrels. Sort of pretty nice contrast to the dark trees. They are, but I'm just thinking it would make it even easier for my dog to spot those and go even more berserk than she already does. Let's take a look at our forecast. Tomorrow, locally dense fog, good slow operations out at SeaTac certainly make things difficult for the commute. But then turning partly to mostly sunny, a little cooler than was the case today, increase in clouds. And for people headed to the PTA convention, I guess in Ellensburg, mm -hmm. good weather over there. They were concerned about that. Good enough. Thank you, Jeff. And thank you for joining us tonight. King 5 Morning News begins tomorrow at 5 a.m. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow night at this time. You've been watching King 5 News. Winner of seven Associated Press Awards, including Best Newscasts. Press Awards, including Best Newscasts. She's ready to retire, but can't afford to. Two out of three women have no retirement benefits. Retiring smart, what every woman should know. NBC Nightly News, tomorrow. Station. What is it about people who work at gates? Would it hurt to talk? At United Airlines, the people who work at our gates are making it their responsibility to answer questions, solve problems, and just lighten up a little. We know it breaks with tradition, but we're trying to reinvent an airline here. At last, a mini SUV with enough power to take you anywhere you want to go. and comfort to make the journey enjoyable. Introducing the all-new V6 Grand Vitara from Suzuki. Excuse me, is that really a Suzuki? It's very nice. Hello? Steve Young? Yeah. Here's our new cellular offer, Mr. Young. Outside of long distance, weekday minutes are divided hey, into non-quasi-peak, semi-peak, non-semi-peak, pseudo Cellular phone offers are not always clear, but ever since Sprint PCS built the only all-digital nationwide network, everything is clear, including the offer. Hello? Sprint PCS is now just a dime any time, with free long distance. That's good. Mr. Young? Steve? As I said, weekday minutes are... Say, what's that smell? Anyway, these now it's just a dime any time, with free long distance. This is a typical small business line of credit. And this is Key's responsive line of credit. It responds with a credit line increase of 25% instantly. For emergencies, to grab opportunities, or to help whip the competition, it's only from Key, one of America's leading small business banks. To learn more or to apply, call 1-888-KEY-4-BIZ. You can make a new friend. Key, help at every turn. King 5 News, Western Washington's number one news team.
Thanks for watching NBC, America's late night leader. The checks in the mail. From the 